Welcome to the craft room this morning. Today I'm going to do a crackle cup. So I figured that I would video my progress to show you guys how to do it. So need a tumbler. This one's a 30 ounce from Maker Flow Crafts. Um, you want to prime it with whatever color you want to show underneath the crackle. Then I have some crackle medium here. I got that off Amazon. Then just some regular acrylic paint. This is from Walmart. A couple medicine cups, also from Amazon. And a couple of paint brushes. These are not Mod Podge brushes, they're just stiff paint brushes. And I got these out of packs from Walmart. So, the first thing we're going to do is. Take some crackle medium. It's a brand new bottle, so I gotta open it up. And you're gonna put it in your medicine cup. Keep in mind, a little goes a long, long way. I'm going to see my tripod will be here hopefully tomorrow if not the next day I have to look and see I'm going to try to prop you up here and hope it works And you can see the wetness as it goes on. Now, there is a way to do this with Elmer's glue. And it is a little bit different because with the Elmer's glue, you don't wait for it to completely dry. Where with the Crackle Medium, you actually wait for it to completely dry before you do anything else. I'm not really putting it on too thick because the thicker you put it on the more it crackles and gives you bigger crackles and I kind of want some smaller ones. My cup does have some drips on it from where I primed it, but for this technique, it doesn't matter. Um, it was just way too cold to be spray painting this morning. And as it starts to dry, it feels tacky. Kind of like a glue. Don't forget your bottom. Alright, so I am going to put this on the drying rack. And when it is dry, I will be back. Okay, it is dry. 
and ready for the acrylic paint. So I kind of rigged up a little tripod here just so you can watch. It's done. I don't use a lot of paint, but I have a lot in there because you have to have a generous amount because you have to do it in one stripe because if you don't do it in one stripe, it will mess up and pull the paint. So you just start and go. And you're going to see the crackles almost immediately. And once it starts crackling, you cannot go back over it. See how it pulls away? You can already see the crackles forming. These does tend to dry pretty quick. I just messed that up a little bit, but I can put a decal there. Alright. Don't forget your bottom. I'm just going to touch this bottom up right here. See how it's pulling away. But you can already see there's a bunch. Of crackles already. So I'm going to let this dry and then I'll be back and show you what to do next. Okay, 
So I just wanted to say that I did not like the way that it crackled. So I washed it. And with the acrylic paint and the um, medium, it just washed right off with water. So I don't know if I just didn't wait until the crackle medium was dry enough or if my bottle of paint, um, my daughter uses them every once in a while and it may be one she mixed with water. So what I did is I washed it off, dried it all the way, put a new coat of crackle medium on it. This time I used a sponge brush and it seemed to get a lot better coverage on it. And I let it completely just sit for an hour so that it was completely dry. And then I got a new bottle of paint and applied it. And this is more or less what I was looking for in the cracks. So all you want to do now is just run your hand over it. If there's any flakes, you can just flake them off. I'm not feeling any with this right now. And then you're going to put your epoxy on it. Just a thin coat. It's kind of lumpy here. And then once you have a thin coat of epoxy on, then you, it's ready for decals. I'll probably put a decal here because it cracked quite a bit more than I wanted it to right in this area. And that's it. So please like and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions of what kind of technique you'd like to see, feel free to let me know. Thanks. I just want to show you real quick. This is another one I did at the same time. What I did is I base painted it with red acrylic paint. Let it dry. Did the medium. Same process. This one's got some really good crackling. I just need to go over it and get rid of any bumps or clumps. Here it is under epoxy. You can see the black really, really pops now.